but this is called even moss stitch it is such a sturdy stitch and it makes the yarn feels thicker than it actually is it has this beautiful bumpy texture but this is a unisex stitch in my opinion so you can use this stitch to make anything for anyone one more thing i like about the stitch is the edge it looks finished already so to make this moss stitch we're gonna work an even number of stitches i'm gonna begin with the slip knot insert my hook and i'm gonna chain up an even number of stitches plus one so that's 10 stitches an even number that plus one is the turning chain so i'm going to chain one the first stitch is worked in the second stitch from the hook so you can insert your hook like this but i always like to work in the back loop so in the second stitch from the hook one two i'm going to turn my chain and find its back loop I'm going to insert my hook and make a slip stitch. So I'm going to yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull the first loop through the second one. And then the next stitch, we're going to work a half double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over first for a half double crochet, insert my hook in that stitch, in the next stitch, back loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through three. And then we're just going to repeat these two stitches. One slip stitch, one half double crochet. So in the back loop of the next stitch, insert hook and make a slip stitch. Back loop of the next stitch, half double crochet, so yarn over insert hook pull up a loop and pull through three so next stitch slip stitch and next half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch and your last stitch should be a half double crochet so that's row one to begin the next row, I'm going to chain one and turn my work. Okay, that's the first stitch. So starting in the first stitch, we're going to do exactly the same thing as row one, which is one slip stitch in the first stitch and a half double crochet. In the next stitch and you're just gonna keep repeating that one slip stitch one half double crochet one slip stitch one half double crochet all the way to the end of the row and you should be ending each row with a half double crochet and at the beginning of each row chain one and turn and repeat the same thing again this is a bigger sample my beginning chain is 20 instead of 10 and i also did 20 rows as well so this is what it looks like with 20 by 20. to thank you guys for helping me reach 10k i'm giving away five copies of this crochet scarf pattern it comes with 14 pixel graphs and one PDF written pattern with instructions on how to make the scarf. 10 of them are fruits. Only the cherries has two sizes. The size of each graph varies slightly. 
Some graphs have more pixels either horizontally or vertically, but on average, they are around 40 stitches times 40 rows. The rest four is just something different. They are one glowing chili pepper, one cactus, one cat, and one dog that's doing yoga. I will be making a tutorial on this to show you how to make one of these images into a scarf. I finished one of them so you can see the finished look. I've already finished recording so the tutorial on this will be out next week. So even if you don't win, you can still make this chili pepper following the video. I'll also be making one more with the cherries but that one will come later, hopefully right after this chili pepper but I'll be sure to put it out as soon as possible. With the rest images, you can win them in this giveaway or purchase them in my Etsy store. Next, how to enter. The rules are quite straightforward. You need to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. You need to be following my Instagram at Sherilyn Crochet. Comment on this video that you'd like the pattern and tell me which one of these pictures you're gonna make your scarf with. Other important information like when does it open, when does it close, I'll put it on the screen. Please take a moment to read it. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week. Good luck.